Well, hello there. Yes, finally I'm back. Yeah, I've been busy. I've been I've been very busy. So even tonight like I'm not going to stream for very long. I'm just going to do uh, I'm just going to do this quest that I've been putting off for like a long time and then and then I got to go to bed. But plethora, it's good to see you. I'm so glad you're here and increasing my viewer count by 1 and keeping it at 1 because there's no one else watching. <laughs> But one is better than none, so thank you. Oh, good. Well, I'm I'm glad to be your entertainer for the evening. <laughs> okay. So, Heart Stealer. That's where we're at. That's what we're doing. I gotta talk to Kayleen on the first floor of the house north of Edgeville. That is a lot of places. It's a lot of navigating. Okay, let's go north of Edgeville. So how are you doing there, Plethora? How How is you today? I hope you are well. Okay, required items, none. That should be easy. No combat. This should be a fairly easy quest. Okay. Watch me prove myself wrong. Ah, here it is. Oh! Well, I'm very sorry to hear that. Oh. Well, uh, I'm glad that you're here. That, that's really shit. I mean, as limited as we are, do you want to talk about it? That's... Hmm. You know, I'm the same way. Yeah, well, I hope things get better. That's that's really all I can It's really all I can say. I'm sorry you're going through a hard time. But I hope I hope I can kind of distract you enough that at least I can put a smile on your face. Hopefully. Okay. Okay. Let's let's get started with with this. Kayleen Kadan. <clears throat> Are they both women? Oh, f my life. They're both women. Jeez. So not only do I need a female voice act, I also need a female with an accent of some some caliber. Oh, good. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. That's good. Oh, I don't know. How about, uh, well, she looks a little bit, she looks a little bit dark. Maybe Arab? I don't know if I could do a female Arab, though. My Afrikaans is not, not good. I don't have a good Afrikaans accent. It's not good. Maybe I can give her Irish or something. Annette. Okay, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, the best female I could do. That's... I mean, yeah, that's pushing it, but, like, that's... It's a very flamboyant, very, you know, like, like that. And that's the best female 
I can do. Okay, so that's that's what we're going with. Jeez. Okay, let's give this a try. Look, Annie, it's our old pal Bob. How are you doing, mate? Oh, she sounds like a Australian. How are you doing there, mate? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. I have been keeping tabs on you since our previous dealings. I know that wasn't your real name. But it's nice to see you again. I don't remember them though. So let's go who are you again. They, they should. <laughs> that would make my life easier, wouldn't it? <laughs> they totally should. They, they don't though. Yeah. That's why, you see, that's why I'm advertising my streams the way I am. Because, like, hey, Jagex, call me, you know, like. <laughs> okay. Who are you again? Because I don't know you. We are master thieves who steal from the rich of, the, of Mr. Lane to give to the less fortunate. Like ourselves. Well, yes. But we give a lot of it to others in need as well. I am Annette, and this is my wife. I still can't believe you forgot about us. Well, it's nice to see that, you know, Jagex is doing their part for the LGBTQ community, so that's good too. Oh, you know what? I remember these guys. I remember them pretty well. Pretty well a little bit. How could anyone forget the mysterious, the daring, world-renowned master thief? <laughs> yeah, no doubt, though. I, I could. I could, maybe, with some practice and training and stuff. I could do a hell of a Canadian voice. Oh, yeah, bud, I can do a Canadian voice, eh? Yeah. You know, because I'm from Canada, so I better, you know. <laughs> oh, that was the point. To not remember thieves. Okay. I'm going to just do this dialogue real quick. Sorry, Kaylin's been stuck in a bit of a rut lately. Past few months have been nothing but petty theft, pickpocketing, boorish nobles, and tax fraud. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a bit of a rut. That sounds like a bit of a criminal, too. Fix yourself, woman. Okay. There's just no fun in thievery anymore. Well, fucking right, there shouldn't be. There should be fucking jail time. Anyway. I told you. You just need to find an elaborate high-stakes heist to get your kleptomaniac heart pumping again. Anyway, I need to get going. I finally found a buyer for Duke Horatio's solid gold lawn gnome. Good, good riddance. Can't say I'm a fan of seeing a pair of 24 karat buttocks mooning me every time I go to the washroom. See you soon. Oh yeah, just disappear, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm a Roo? I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, that's good, yeah. Right, now that Annette is gone... 
There's something I need your help with. Uh, let me guess. It involves stealing something. No. Well, maybe a bit. Or a lot. But it's a matter of love or death. No, no, that's wrong. Life or death. This is something else. It's for Annette. I've been trying to find an amazing gift for our wedding anniversary, but I can't find anything good enough. It's tomorrow, and I still don't have anything for her. Where do I fit into this, woman? Woman wasn't in there, but I thought I'd just... It sounded like it needed a woman at the end of that question. <laughs> okay. Annette's buyer is in Falador. So she should be gone for... So she should be gone long enough. You see... The Verrock Museum is hosting a gala this evening to celebrate the donation of a ridiculously expensive heart-shaped ruby. It's everything she loves. Expensive, heart-shaped, red. And it doesn't belong to us. Yet. But even I can't pull off a heist like this on my own. I need your help to infiltrate this party and steal the ruby. See, doesn't that sentence sound like a woman would say that? And with my, like, you know, high pitch kind of voice, doesn't that just sound like it would be a woman? You know? I think I could pull off a pretty good woman. You know? I think I could do it. Okay. By the way, I I had some some upgrades that I did. Is my voice lagging to the to my facial expression or is it coming out like like at the same time? Ha! <laughs> That's good. Okay. Well, I'll take it. That end is my voice coming out clear. Oh, okay, good. Um, yeah, because I, I added some... Um, you can see, to the background is very different. Because I'm not using chroma key. I'm using um, a GeForce software. And it also kind of tracks my movement a little bit, too. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's a little bit different. So I'm kind of, I was play testing it. So if, if you're saying it's good, fan fucking tastic. Okay, let's do this. Okay. What do you say? Are you in? Yeah, okay, whatever. Fuck it. Let's just go. I'm in. Credible. But credible wasn't in the dialogue. I think it should have been because I am. I don't know. But that's just my opinion. Who am I, right? Fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Cheers, mate. Now let's get started. There's a few things we need to do before we can start the heist. We need a disguise if we're going to sneak into that party. And I have just the seamstress in mind. Let me fucking guess. Verok. Thessalia. We need to find some plans for the gala so we know what we're dealing with. Smoke bombs are essential tools 
in both burglary and showmanship, two of my favorite things. I need your help making some. What should we do first? What does it effing matter? Let's get the disguise. Good choice. You would have said that no matter what I picked, though. So, I don't trust your judgment. Oh, of course, Thessalia, right? Yeah, that's what I called it. Thessalia is a seamstress who runs a store. Thanks. I didn't know that. Thessalia's fine clothes over in Verroc. She should have something we can use. Here's some gold. It should cover everything. Give me just like 10 mil. Imagine, oh my gosh, if she just gave me like 10 mil. That'd be hilarious. Where's the coins? I don't see no coins, though. Kayleen hands you a small amount of coins. You place them into your pocket for safekeeping. Where? Where? I don't see it, though. That makes me mad. Ha! No doubt. <clears throat> What should I look for? Hmm, I'm not sure. Why? Why aren't you sure? This whole thing is your idea. You seem like a terrible burglar. If you don't even have a plan. Why? Why am I helping you? How stupid am I to be helping you if you don't even know what we're doing? Holy smokes. That makes me mad. Uh, okay. <laughs> that is awful. Okay. The gala will be a formal <laughs> affair. So let's get something classy with masquerade masks. Yeah, that's a little redundant. Masquerade means mask. So, okay. Anyway. To conceal our identities. I hear they are all the rage among the nobility right now. Okay. You're purchasing them legally? You, you've you given me gold to purchase them legally? That doesn't seem like your style. Yeah, but you know what? She probably wants to be in Thessalia's good books. Right? She doesn't want to... Screw over the person who's making her disguises. That seems like her style. What are you talking about? It's not. Usually. But that poor gal's been go been through some rough times lately. Also, she's rather cute. She's also rather old. Like for you. You know. So your taste in women already throws me off. All right. Okay, uh, let's just let's just go. I'll be here longer than I need to be. No, it's not. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't go into my coin pouch. Otherwise, I'd get like a little message. See, you see, you see how there's no message that says this much has been entered into your coin pouch. It just says obtain disguise. That's the first thing I thought of. Come on. <laughs> it must be... No, you know what you heard? You heard a little ding. Like a little bell chime. Um, and that bell chime was uh, indicating the, the little green obtain the disguise. Like a new task on your to-do list. That, that's what happened. Yeah. I should probably zoom this out a little bit. That's... Yeah. Nice scenery there. Mm-hmm. 
Indeed she did. I'm curious where this money's going. And where it's coming from. Okay. I should probably give her a, a, a British accent. <clears throat> if I didn't suck at a British accent. I could do an Irish accent pretty decently. I can't do British for some reason. British is hard for me. Okay, let's let's try. Hello there, how can I help you? I'm looking for a pair of costumes for a gala this evening. Ideally something that conceals the wearer's identity. Well, don't you fucking say that. Say you need a masquerade for like a mat like fucking like Oh, yeah, I just want to go to this gala, but I want something that hides my identity. First thing I'm thinking is fucking why? He just blatantly says that. What a dummy. Oh. I have a plethora. Plethora. Your name is used there. That's great. I have a plethora of fantastic gowns. Suits and masks. Do you have a budget in mind? You show Thessalia the gold Kayleen gave you. Oh. Sorry. This is all she gave me. Now you're looping a, a person that she has no idea who it is into this conversation. Why would you reveal your co-conspirator? Buddy, you're wrong, and you need to sort yourself out. Okay. Oh, and she didn't catch on. That's that's interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. I should be able to give you two masquerade masks for this. But they'll be second-hand with unusual stains. Well, that's a little fucking gross, isn't it? Why would you... Mm. Why wouldn't you attempt to get rid of those stains? Ay. That's fine. Is it, though? Is it fucking fine? Because it's not. Okay, it's not fine. He's so sad about it, too. Like, he's just... That's fine. You sure? Okay. Wait a minute. Concealing identities? Suspiciously low budget? This she wouldn't happen to be by the name of Kayleen, would she? Possibly. Ugh. At least she's paying me anything at all. Though I have half a mind to take her ill-gotten gains and chuck them right back in her smug face. Well, she's not fucking here, so... You know. But unfortunately, I need all the gold I can get. I blew all of my savings buying material to make the largest top hat in Gillenor. We fucking recall the top hat, do we not? Stupid. You know what's funny? I think we should have done this one first. And then Once Upon a Slime. I wonder what the correct order is, because that's stupid. <laughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> oh, okay, yeah, okay, that works. So I guess Once Upon a Slime did have to be played first. Otherwise, this dialogue wouldn't exist. That's cool. Oh! 
The one that only made second place. Oh, she's angry. Yes, that one. Here, take the masks. But tell Kayleen this is the last time I'll accept her morally repugnant, reprehensible, and positively vile patronage. Thessalia hands you two worn masquerade masks in exchange for the gold. I will, thank you. He's so chipper about it. Yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's good. <laughs> yes, I will. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Hey, have you gotten those disguises? Yep, here they are. Did you hear that little bell? That's the kind of, that's the bell thing. You're going to hear it again, I think, when the next task comes up. You hand Kayleen the pair of disguises. Cheers! These are... a lot less than I was expecting. Thessalia said that this was all we could afford with the gold you gave me. What a joke! Usually I get far more for far less. Because you steal it? Exactly. She also said that this is the last time she'll accept your morally repugnant, reprehensible, and positively vile patronage. Did I need to say that all, all over again? You know, like that's a lot of work, Jagex. That's a whole two less adjectives than she used last time. I must be growing on her. Yeah, like a fucking zit that just needs to get just burst yeah okay now on to business there's still some things we need to do before we can start the heist we need to find some plans for the gala so we know what we're dealing with So you don't know what the fuck we're doing? You just... Oh, Gala. Yeah, that's a good idea. But what are we doing? I don't know. It's just, it's just Gala. We'll get disguises. And we'll just we'll just enter. And we'll just do stuff. You know? We'll just... Now we need the plans. Uh-huh. I think the plan should have come first. You're wrong. making me mad. <laughs> I'm so mad. Smoke... <laughs> Smoke bombs are an essential tool in... But yeah, you said that already. What should we do next? Well, I think we fucking need plans. Okay, whatever. Let's do the smoke bombs. <laughs> yes, we shall. We shall attempt valiantly to get through this excruciating headache. <laughs> okay, let's create some smoke bombs. This is my favorite part of preparing for a heist. I've got some unfinished smoke bombs lying around that I need your help finishing off. You'll find everything you need around the room. Well, then why the fuck am I doing it? Like, uh, 
Unless I have to go across foreign lands to do it, you can't finish this off yourself while I, while I go do something more important. You're a waste of time, okay? That's what you are. Just know that, please. Moving on. Oh, this is going to be a whole thing then, I guess. Okay. There's a workbench for bashing things. Thanks. Okay. Some parts for the mechanisms. It's one gear. It's literally one giant gear and that's going to be put into a smoke bomb. Is that's what's going to happen? Mhm. Mm Some stinky fish for putrid odor. Fucking why? Why does it need to smell bad? It's a smoke bomb. <laughs> she did not say stink bomb anywhere. What is this? <sighs> oh my god. And some powder to make them explosive. That's the one correct thing you said. But you notice... You notice how she said they were unfinished? I don't even think they're fucking made. This is all like... All the ingredients. Anyway, okay. I'm just complaining. Rightfully so, but whatever. You know, whatever. Just follow my instructions as I shout them out. Oh, then do this your own damn self, you know, like, come on. And we'll have the perfect set of smoke bombs in no time. Okay. Be quick, though, otherwise they'll ex- Why? Why will they explode? Are they on a timer? Doesn't make sense. Nothing she's saying makes no sort of sense. Okay. Okay, or they'll explode. Yeah, see, even he's skeptical. Like, what the hell is this? This isn't... No, this is... No, no. No, this is wrong. You heard that. That's the ding. That's the little ding. Okay, yeah. Okay. So are you ready to get started? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. But you know what? I'll do it anyway. I'm ready. Good. You know what? Good. As long as you're having fun. Because I'm crying a little bit on the inside. Wait, what? Let's get started on the smoke. Oh, no. Yeah, the unfinished bomb explodes. Why? Because I took too long? No! That's not how smoke bombs work. Uh, that's how that's how IEDs work. That's how like terrorist bomb. I don't know. Like that's not a smoke bomb. It's a grenade, maybe. Fuck, I don't know. Okay. Okay, let's have another go. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. Whatever. Yeah, start on the smoke bombs. Okay. Extra powder. Okay, I'm getting the powder. Uh huh. Why? See, why do they need to be smelly? That's dumb. Extra parts. More fish. Powder. Parts. Powder. 
I called it. Fish. Fish is be next. No, okay, parts. Okay, and then fish. Fish is after the parts. No, par powder, okay. Okay, 10 is gonna be this thing. Bash with a hemp, no, okay, fish. Most random thing in the world, okay. I finished off those smoke bombs you asked for. Like a numpty. You hand the finished smoke bombs over to Kayleen. Great. Thanks. Those are looking good. Okay. <laughs> first time, first time what? I don't understand. Oh, you mean this quest? Oh. Really? Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Uh, okay, those are looking good. All that's left is to find the plans for the Gahala. Dummy. That's what you needed first. Because you need to study the plans. You need to go over 10 different times, have plan Bs and plan As, and plan all the way through to, to Z. Like, eh. You don't know how to be a thief. Don't tell me you're no master thief. What master you know? Okay. I'm sure the museum's curator, Hag Hallen, interesting name will have plans for the gala on him fucking and go get him master thief wants me to go fetch him for her I bet nah swipe the plans from him and use these specialist tools to make a copy if you can plant the original back on him, he should be none the wiser. No doubt, hey, she is f effing lazy. I'm trying not to swear. I'm trying to be more conservative with my language. Holy though, like, come on, right? Get off your ass a little bit and do something. This is for your wife, right? It's for your partner. I'm doing all the work. Uh, no. Go do something. Okay. Kayleen hands you a sheet of paper and some crayons. Because we're in frickin' preschool. And we use crayons. Yeah, like I'm five years old and playing with crayons, aren't I? Grown ass woman playing with crayons. Spe yeah, right? Specialist tools. <laughs> Thank you. I try, you know, because I got to represent, you know, the hometown of Canada. <laughs> the hometown. Uh, I meant the country, but I said hometown because I'm a funny guy. Okay. Um, this is some crayons and a sheet of lined paper <laughs> with what appears to be a coffee stain. <laughs> oh, that's good. The stain adds character. That's pretty good. That made me laugh. That's pretty good. The stain adds character. Okay, what if I get caught? I don't really care all that much. I hope I get caught. What if someone catches me making the copy? Just tell them that you're doing an inspection. That's actually clever. 
or checking the plumbing or making a piece of modern art. That last one is dumb. I don't know. Well, who the fuck knows then, eh? You gotta know something. I don't know. Yeah, I know you don't. I'm sure you'll think of something. You know what? I'm sure I will too, because I have the utmost confidence in myself. Not in you, though. Okay. I'll get started. Good luck. Fucking thanks. I'm really trying not to swear. I'm really trying. It's hard, though. So I think this is like the last like official quest that I have. <laughs> I'm trying not to though cuz I broadcast on Facebook and my family watches sometimes. So I need to keep things like family friendly, you know. But sometimes, you know, sometimes it just like I need to. <gasps> Penguin. 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 There we go. Saw the penguin. Oh, no. Not them. Don't worry. But I have, like, you know, other families. <laughs> no, I don't have my mom and dad on Facebook. You know why? Because they don't have Facebook. So it's, it's easy. <laughs> Oh, guard. Oh, the curator. Is that the quest? Oh, that's where you get the master quest cape from. It's the curator. Okay. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> okay, pickpocket. You take the gala plans from the curator and draw a crude copy. Why? Couldn't it have been an exact copy? Okay. Then place the original back in his pocket. All of that. He did all of that. And all I did was click pickpocket. Needed all of that. Yeah, crude copy will work then. That's pretty, that's pretty damn good. Okay. What am I doing? Uh, I'll do a cowboy accent. Okay. I'll ha uh, just add a little bit of twang in that little voice, and he's got a cowboy accent. Okay. Hey, just what do you think you're doing? Oh. I'm going to rat her out. I don't give a fuck about her. I'm going to rat her out. I'll be honest with you. A thief is trying... <laughs> That's awesome. A thief is trying to steal that ruby of yours at the gala this evening. <laughs> this is great. And she's asking me to help. Oh, wow. Wait, what? I swear to God, if this guy's just like, yeah, we're going to let her steal it. I'm going to be so mad. Because I did, I did the lawful thing. And you're going to be a rat. Okay. Kayleen Kadan. She's been causing chaos in this city for years. Perhaps this is an opportunity to finally put her behind bars. Fucking right. That's right. That's what you do. Okay. I say, you play along with her for now. If I can catch her in the act... She'll finally face justice for her crimes. I'll consider it. <gasps> oh! I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna lock her up. 100% <laughs> I'm gonna do it. If I can. If they let me, oh my gosh, I'm gonna do it.
I'm sure, like, most people would do the opposite. But I'm a lawful person. I, I love law enforcement. I'm I'm trying to be a cop. I, I want to be a cop in my future. I'm a very lawful person. So I will, I will put her in jail. 100%. And you know what? I will sleep better at night because she made me so mad. Yeah, oh, she made me mad. She deserve she deserves to be in jail just for her stupidity. Yeah. Oh yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. I I work in law enforcement currently, just not as a cop. I I'd love to be police. That's my dream. Yo, that's actually a cool outfit. What is that? Hey, that's pretty cool. Rocks. What on earth is it? Oh, I already own it. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> it's okay. You're in another continent. <laughs> but yeah, please do. <laughs> okay. Um, talk to Kayleen. Okay. Do you have the plans? Yes, here they are. You hand Kayleen your copy of the Gala Plans. Great! Now let's see what else needs doing. Are you serious? Looks like that's everything. We're ready to start the heist. Well, great. Meet me outside the Varrock Museum and we can begin. Fantastic. Woo. Okay. <coughs> okay. I can see my viewer count and I'm broadcasting on Twitch and YouTube and Facebook and I'm watching my viewer count and I can see people on Facebook. I can see my count going up by one, up by two, and then dropping back down to zero. Like they, they tune in for two seconds and then they take a hike. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. The gala should be starting soon. Truth be told, I'm a bit nervous about this. It's been a long time since I pulled off a heist like this one. I hope I haven't lost the spark for good. Oh, you're going to lose more than that spark, I'm going to tell you. Give her a pep talk? I don't want to. Yeah, so I'm using I'm using a program called Restream. See, if I had if I had um, Streamlabs Prime membership, then I wouldn't need this other program. But because I don't, because they're stupid expensive. Even though they're expensive, I might actually join. I don't know yet. Anyway, neither here nor there. I use a program called Restream, and what I do is I activate multiple of my accounts on on restream and then i broadcast like my stream key is broadcasting to restream and then restream then distributes my stream to those different platforms that i have 
I said stream a lot in that sentence. I don't know if you were able to follow. But, yeah. So I'm streaming to Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Yeah, it's pretty good. And it's free. Whereas if I paid for, for Streamlabs Prime, I'd have, to, I'd have to pay for that. But I could do it all from my my broadcast software which is a lot easier it's easier to make the settings nice and clean um but i also get uh, a store where i sell my merchandise uh, my current store is very lacking it's not very good not a lot of stuff on there um and i get a nice looking website that i can design and everything like that um but it's a little bit expensive. My my hope was that I would have uh, either subscribers or donations or whatever, and that would pay for my my stream membership, and then I'd be able to do all these cool stuff. But for now, it's just uh, a fun little hobby that I do, and that's all. <laughs> That'd be a fun game, eh? Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> uh, so I'm not going to give you a pep talk because I hope you fail. In fact, I'm going to make sure I do everything in my power so that you will not succeed. Okay, say nothing. Anyway, are you ready to get started? Oh, yes. I'm ready. Perfect. Here's your disguise. Kayleen hands you a Scarlet Thief's mask. Now get that on. We have a museum to rob. Oh, we're not robbing nothing. <laughs> Maybe if Twitch would let you. Has nothing to do with me. Although it has a little bit to do with me, I have to meet their requirements. Although part of their requirements, I need an average of three viewers. I can't get that. How am I going to get that? People need to actually watch me. <laughs> uh, let's see for a second. Yeah, that's okay. That's good. Good enough. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there are requirements on, on stream that you need to meet. Uh, on Twitch that you need to meet. Um, what What is this? Oh my god, what? Fucking how? I don't have 200 mil in anything. That is ridiculous. Jeez, are you like... Are you better at this game than I am? Like, are you better than me? <laughs> uh, what? Oh, that's gross. That's actually gross. What are your other ones? I'm just curious. If they're like like strength, attack, magic, okay, understandable. Yeah, that kind of matters, because you know what? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. And an Irish accent. I'm partly cl completionist as well, but as you can see, not entirely. Like, my comp is like, I got that left. And then what are the other ones? No, no. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Que quest, I'm like, I'm lacking. Comp T. Oh, it's all here. Never mind. What was I doing? So most of the things I'm missing is... um. I don't know. 
Oh, the Vault of Shadows thing, which I'm kind of saving for when I'm doing my my guides. I'm really lacking on, on my archaeology guide. I still have two, like... And each one is like an hour long. Like, I put a lot of work into them. And they're... Like, they are a lot of work. But, um... I enjoy doing it, I just haven't had the time. Uh, so anyway... War's Retreat. Oh yeah, that one's easy enough. I just haven't gone around to that. Um, potion Recipes. Yeah, that one's also easy. Just has to figure out my archaeology guides again. And that's another archaeology guide stuff. That, I don't know what I'm missing. And Quest Cape. Yeah, so after that I'm going to have the Asandra quest. Yeah. Really? You think so, hey? Because I, I, I got the mobile version. I'm actually struggling to use it. I have my phone. I'm sitting there like I'm trying to use my phone. And it's not... I'm getting nowhere with it. And anyway, the, the trimmed completionist, I'm almost quite there too, but a lot of it, I'd say like 60% of it, I have to get through my archaeology stuff so that I can get those out of the way. Oh, you sent another picture. Oh, let's compare real quick. Okay, well that doesn't give me a very good estimate of your combat but okay my room crafting is better my wait what how do you have 200 mil in construction but you're level 102 that doesn't make sense to me what's happening here constitution i thought it said construction and that's why i was like how because that doesn't like that's what you know Constitution makes sense. Congratulations, that makes sense. 200 mil. You do a lot of combat. Very good. Oh, I want to try trim. I've had completion escape before. And it's fun, it's all good, but uh, I want to get trim. Yeah, good luck though, because that's fucking hard. Like, that's grinding. Like, you gotta sit there for hours and just grind. Good luck. Okay. What else you got? What else you got? Okay. 120. Yeah, okay, we're good there. See, look at that. 119. Like, I got 4 mil left, but I'm not all about combat anymore. I like, I like just, you know, having fun. Not all about combat no more. Uh, let's see here. Oh, your thieving's better than mine. Uh, yeah, well, you know, I'd say we're pretty we're pretty decent. Your hunter, wow, that's pretty good. I gotta get my hunter up. Um, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. How is my fire making level 110? I don't even know how that's possible. I never train fire making. How on earth is it 110? That actually baffles me a little bit. I'm trying to get my invention up to 150. I'm struggling there, but yeah. You got some nice levels. You're higher than me. 31, 32, I'm 30, 97. Yeah, you're up there. That's pretty good. Wow. That doesn't seem very good, though. You made 10 mil. 
in the pursuit of achieving 200 mil Slayer? That doesn't seem right. That should be like 100 mil. Or even like 500 mil. Hmm. Anyway, I need to... Oh, no. Am I misunderstanding? Oh, gotcha. Well done. I don't think I'm there. Ten mil XP. You mean ten bill? How are you ten mil XP? Is that... Are you sure about that? No, that doesn't make sense. You can't be 10 mil XP. Because I'm 1.5 bill XP. Maybe I'm not understanding you. I don't know. I'm fucking Canadian, okay? It's hard to understand you Swiss. The only Swiss I know are army knives and cheese. I don't understand no Swiss. Ten mil. Oh, okay, I get it now. Ten mil away from two. Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm good. Thank you. I got it. Kind of embarrassed that I didn't understand that, but okay, you know. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, okay. We're we're carrying on with the quest. We got sidetracked heavily there. Okay, all right. Are you ready for the gala? Yes, I'm ready. Nice one, mate. Let's get going. Okay. Let's get you going straight to jail. Wow. This is actually nice. How exactly did you get these invites? Were they expensive? Not for a thief. She probably got them for free. Haha. <laughs> it was about 10 gold to rent the printing press. Like, look at that thief, eh? 10 gold. I paid 10 gold to rent the machine in which I used to create the fraudulent invites. Now, that's fucking elaborate, isn't it? Like, holy fuck, eh? Like, that takes some doing. Wouldn't it just be easier to just, you know, steal the little invite? No, I'm gonna pay for the machine to craft fake papers. Holy fuck. Like, something wrong with you, woman. Like, sort yourself out. Okay. These are forgeries? Uh huh. You don't get far in this business if you can't forge a simple party invitation. Yeah, or, you know, steal one, which is ten times more simpler. More simpler. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> How do you think me and Annette were able to swipe Duke Horatio's bejeweled birthday cake? I don't know. How? What does that have to do with forgery? Okay. 
Oh, she's not gonna explain how she did it. Okay. Oh, guess who it is? It's fucking Annette. A master thief and a hero. Such a peculiar partnership. Oh, she has that Irish... Oh, shit. I already fucked it up. I wonder... What brings you to this little soiree? How do you... Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. For now. That was clearly a net. You guys are both dumb. What was that about? She must be tw a twisted villain here to steal that ruby for her own selfish purposes. But Kayleen, we're here to steal the ruby too. Well, yeah, but we aren't villains. We're just... differently motivated heroes. No... No, villains is the correct terminology for your profession. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because... Kayleen is distracted as a noblewoman walks past, casually swiping the purse from her handbag. And rifle... Casually swiping the purse from her handbag. Isn't that two of the same fucking thing? Isn't a purse... A handbag? What did she swipe? Anyway. And rifling through the contents. Wait. What were we talking about? Never mind. No? Am I wrong? I swear I thought a purse was a handbag. Are they actually two different things? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit okay that's good to know I guess <laughs> oh okay I got schooled a little bit I think okay never mind okay let's check out the basement according to the plans that's where the ruby is being held who's holding it ha uh Okay, go to the basement. I was gonna say, two guards just stand in there. They're not gonna stop us? Okay. The basement is currently off limits. You'll find the gala upstairs. I see. Thank you. If we want to get in there, we're going to have to create a diversion. Let's head upstairs and see if we can find someone who will make a distraction for us. Oh. Wait, isn't that called a clutch? Which is what you're referring to as a purse? I don't know. Anyway, okay. You're the woman, I trust your judgment. Of course I do, because what do I know about women accessories? Oh, there's a big-ass dragon in the middle of the room. Maybe he'll make a distraction. Or a drunken dwarf. Or, you know, Annette. Oh, is that what a clutch is? Okay. You know, I only learned about what a clutch is like two months ago. Before that, I just thought it was the thing you use to help you shift gears in a car. 
in a manual transmission vehicle you have the clutch that you got to press down you got to shift your gear when you press down on the clutch and then you release the clutch two months ago i hear it's a fucking handbag or something where you put money in okay whole world gets turned upside down okay <clears throat> Good luck. You'll need it. Okay. Mr. Mordot. So, who's he talking to? Oh, he's talking to Cartholo over there. Okay. So, for the... For these guys, oh, jeez, what are they called again? The Ilujanka. I like to give them like a, like a, uh, oh, jeez, what's his name? Like a, like a Christopher Walken type of an accent. But I can't do a good Christopher Walken. So I just do a weird kind of voice-breaking accent where my voice breaks every other word and just creates a, a weird kind of dialogue so that's what he's gonna be so this cheese is created by fermenting a white fluid gathered from lactating animals well yes but i promise you it is a lot nicer than that makes it sound you're welcome to try some if you like. I'll pass. Hello, Mr. Mordot. I hope you're enjoying the party. I am indeed. What a splendid soiree Haleen has organized. Anachronia and Orthon certainly have their charm. Exploring Dragonkin history directly is invigorating. But it's nice to be back at the museum, if only for a moment. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Why, thank you. I hope you're having a pleasant evening as well. Okay, he's not going to make a distraction. Oh, no, it's terrible. I can't do a, a, a Christopher Walken. It's, it's awful. But thank you for being so nice. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I can I can piece together what you're saying. <laughs> oh, drunken dwarf. I think I can do this pretty decently. Hello there, my inebriated friend. Ah, I, I ain't inebriated yet, mate, unfortunately. This party's drier than Caridian. Can you believe is only one drink token per person? Say, if we're able to get you some drink tokens, would you be willing to cause a bit of a scene for us? You know, to liven things up? If you find me four drink tokens, I'll do whatever you want. Sounds like a plan, then. Let's grab our tokens from one of the bartenders. Then we can try working our charm on the other guests. See if they can be persuaded to part with theirs. Okay... I believe you. Hey, do you happen to know where we can get our free drink tokens? Of course. If you show me your invitations, I can sort that out for you right now. I have to give her a little bit of a pip in her voice, you know. To distinctify between her and Kayleen. Kayleen shows the bartender your invitations, and they hand you one drink token each. 
I heard it's only one token per person. It is. Apologies for any inconvenience. We have quite an extensive guest list, and the drinks are in short supply this evening. Though I believe the curator arranged for the shortage, given some of the more eccentric partygoers we were expecting tonight. That's all right. Oh, this is delicious. I've had I've never had vintage Caridian spiced wine before. Kayleen, did you just use your drink token? What were you thinking? The bartender smiled at me and everything. How could I say no? Very fucking easily. It's a two-letter word. You just fucking say it. How could I say no? You're fucking married. What are you doing flirting with other fucking people? Okay. Sort yourself out. Let's pickpocket a token from one of the attendees to make up for it. You reluctantly hand Kayleen your drink token, which is a fucking mistake, which she stores in her coat for safekeeping. Yeah, because it's safe there. Okay. We just need to get a hold of three more drink tokens now. Okay. Pickpocket attendee. I honestly don't remember anymore. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> you know what's bad, eh? You know what's bad when I don't remember doing that? But it sounds like something I would do. Yeah. <laughs> My bad, okay. <laughs> you carefully reach into the attendee's pocket and take out a drink token. Nice one. You're getting good at this. Thanks. We just need to get a hold of two more drink tokens. Why don't I just take the other one? We've already stolen a drink token. Let's not risk getting caught again. Oh, oh getting caught. <laughs> okay. Like I could, though. All the way in Switzerland. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, okay. Moving on. Moving on. Oh, I could just talk to the attendee, I guess. Yeah, I don't want I don't want to do female anymore. Talk to another guy. Whoa. That scared the hell out of me. Julian Gavito, thank you for the follow. <laughs> scared the hell out of me. Oh, jeez. Oh, New Zealand, I'm sorry. New Zealand. I, I, yeah, you said that before. Why did I keep thinking you're from Switzerland? Okay, yeah, New Zealand. Thank you, Julian. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. I did not know you were watching. I'm glad... I'm glad you were having fun enough to simply watch and follow and be completely hidden. I had no idea you were watching. Did not know that. Didn't see any messages from you. But I'm glad you're having fun. <laughs> uh, it is... Uh, okay, I... That's a lot to unpack there, Julian. That's a little bit of a... That's a little bit of a conversation. I'll tell you what, though. If you're on my Twitch right now, right underneath in the About section, there's a little... There's a little place where it says all of the games that I play and stream, and one of them is RuneScape. And you can click on that, and it'll bring you to the RuneScape page, and it'll tell you what, it, what RuneScape is, is all about. And I kind of feel like you're being sarcastic, though, because you're like, 
how are you watching RuneScape? Like you would have had to navigate to the to the RuneScape column and watch other. Like I don't know if you're being sarcastic. Oh, okay. So you're legit. Okay, no problem. Um, it's very hard to explain what it's about. It's um, it's a game that's kind of takes place in the medieval era you can say um but like mo in most games like world of warcraft and whatever other game that you can think about you have to pick a class that you want you want to be a warrior a mage ranger that kind of thing this game you can be whatever you want and you don't have to pick like um skills that you want to um uh, specialize in like fishing or mining or whatever you can specialize in whatever skill you want like you can look at this kind of thing under the map here these are all the skills that you can train and it's just it's it's a it's a very wide kind of it's a very open world game and I really love it I've been playing it for over 20 years I I love this game so much um, can't say over 20 years because the game's had its 20th anniversary a couple months ago. I've been playing it for roughly 20 years. Um, but yeah, I would highly recommend getting into it, especially on Steam. It is available on Steam. Um, so if you haven't made an account or anything, I'd suggest going on there first. Because when you look it up on Steam, it'll tell you everything what the game is all about. It'll give you a good breakdown a good um, uh, trailer uh, that kind of cuts through all the major highlights of the game. And it really gives you a good broad spectrum of what you can expect. And especially for new players, the game is actually really interesting. It used to be that you could only have fun when you get to the end game content. But over the years, they've actually improved the game so much where you actually have more fun if you're not at the end game like if you're if you're just progressing through it um like starting from scratch and that's why most people they have multiple accounts because they'll actually start the game over from scratch just to go through all of the all of the starter content But yeah, I highly recommend it. It's like I said, I love this game. It's it's great. Yeah, that's true. They did release a new tutorial and it's actually it plays out like a quest. Like what you can expect out of a quest. But it also gives you a rundown of all the basics that you need. And they actually they hook you up with everything you need to to start there's lots of good tool tips and like um where where is it okay so this, it has this thing called an activity tracker and you'll have your own when you're starting out and um mine is very limited right now and i can't show you a whole lot but um it'll give you step by step like what to do Especially like when you're lost, you can refer to the activity tracker. It'll give you a suggestion of where to go, what to do. And it'll expand your kind of knowledge, I guess you could say, of the game. And of the different characters and the different things you can do. And there's always events, like world events that they have. Every month there's something going on. Like this month there have, they have um, a world event that is a quest. And they have um, this thing called a yak track where they kind of host this thing every once in a while. And you do you do kind of tasks. And you run through it. Uh, you run through 50 different tasks and you play through it. And you get these cool, cool uh, rewards afterwards. Which reminds me, I need to get on this because I've neglected this pretty heavily. But anyway, I shall get back to this and 
practicing my accents. <clears throat> Need some water. Jeez, what accent should I give him? Okay, hold on. What accents have I done? I've done Irish. I've done a little bit of British. I've done female. I've done a little bit of cowboy. What's missing? Should I just go like full bore Canadian on this guy? Probably should, eh? Well, for me it is. For me it's an accent because I'm a guy. I'm a man. So for me, it's an accent. <laughs> yeah, accent was probably poor choice of words, but like, you know what I mean. Like it's one of my many voices that I try to to do. Oh, Aussie. I do need to work on it. Oh, jeez. Hold on. How do I... Oh, jeez. How do I do Aussie again? That's not a knife. This is a knife. All right. This amazing donation will make a great audition to the museum. Oh, okay. That's it. Okay. All the males are going to be Aussie then, because why not? What a wonderful gala. The curator has really outdone himself this time. That's it. That's that's nothing. That's too bad. Okay, I'm going to have to talk to the wise old man and the wise old lady. Zen Oh jeez, what's her name? Zena Vivia. Zena Vivia. Yeah, yeah, I remember her. Okay. I need to. I need to start that way. I need to get into the into the voice, into the crocodile Dundee. How are you, mate? Voice. All right. All right. Let's let's get her done. No, that's a different. That's a whole other thing. Okay. Hello there. How are you finding the party? I am having a pleasant evening. Really dizzy. This party is duller than a ditch water. Than ditch water. Okay, whatever. Don't you think we could spice things up a little bit? Oh, wait, what? Don't you think we could spice things up with a little robbery like we did back at the wizard's tower? For this one, I'm going to give her like a, like a, like a mean girl, like, uh, like, you know, like that kind of thing. That's what I'm going to do. Perhaps we could steal that ruby they won't stop going on about for ourselves. It would be oddly romantic, wouldn't it? You know, like, yeah. Don't be silly, Zinni. You saw how much security the museum has in place tonight who would be foolish enough to try to steal that thing on a romantic whim yeah who would do something like that by the way i don't suppose you have a spare drink token ha i downed our two glasses the second we got here no that not that it's helped i hope things pick up for you you and me both so that's about oh well i guess we could talk to these women okay i'll give them like i'll try to be like british female with these ones this amazing donation will make a great addition to the museum. That was terrible. It's great to have the opportunity to chat with so many different people. Is it? Yeah. 
Okay, how about we talk to Mr. Mordot? Hello, Mr. Mordot. I hope you're enjoying the party. Yeah, said that already. Said that already. Oh, okay, there we go. You wouldn't happen to have a spare drink token, would you? I do still have mine. Can't say I have much interest in redeeming it. I was promised a full cheese platter this evening, but I have yet to see anything of the sort. Tell you what, if you can find this elusive cheese, I'll give you my token. Let's have a look around. This platter, that platter has to be here somewhere. Yeah, let's have a let's have a gander at this cheese platter. Oh, well, maybe it's at the table where all the other food is, isn't it? No. Nothing here that's selectable. Well, jeez. Jeez, where's the cheese? Okay. I hear the two of you need to find some drink tokens. What of it? I may be willing to give you mine, but only if you can defeat me in battle. In battle? In a dance battle. Why are you helping us? Because she's Annette. Because it's entertaining. Why a dance battle, of all things? What's a gala heist without a dance scene? She has a point. Does she... Does she have a point, though? It's a pretty dull fucking point, if I do say so, though. It's an art gala. Where the fuck did you see dancing in an art gala? Okay, we accept. Yeah, reluctantly. <laughs> we accept your challenge. Are you sure about this? This whole thing seems pretty suspect. Yeah, no doubt. We need these tokens. We need them. We need them. Do we? Okay. You're right. You'll have to take this one, though. You'll have to take this one, though. I can't, s I can't dance to save my life. No matter how much Annette tried to teach me. It's time to put your boogie where your mouth is and join me on the dance floor. Oh, we're doing this, hey? This is this is going to be a thing. Okay. Let the battle begin. Really? Is it Impressive, is it? You sure? Because I disagree. Bravo, bravo. Yeah. Did that did that really deserve two bravos? Might have deserved half of one. Meh. I've seen better. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. You definitely earned this. 
The masked woman hands Kayleen her drink token, which she stores in her coat for safekeeping. Yeah. Safekeeping, eh? Okay. Good job. We're one step closer to snagging that ruby. We just need to get a hold of one more drink token now. Let's ask Christopher Walken. I didn't expect to see an Illu junk in here. Where are you from? Oh, I hail from yeah. I I I don't know. The home world of my people. I arrived on Gilinor with several of my kind only recently. I have been teaching Mr. Mordot about the ways of the Ilujanka and our history. He in turn is showing me the culture of Gilinor, such as this gala. How are you finding it? It's fascinating, very different to celebrations back home. Is the food always this small here? Nope, that's definitely just a pompous noble thing. You should see the parties me and Annette throw over in Edgeville, in that little small hut just north of the bank. I'm sure your parties are wild. I would like that. No, you fucking wouldn't. I'm telling you. Go home. You're good. Nice to meet you, Cartholo. I hope you enjoy the party. Likewise, friend. Before we go, I don't suppose you happen to have a spare drink token? I'm afraid not. I couldn't pass up the opportunity to try Gilinorian wine. It was quite nice, though. Oh, no. It was quite nice. Though it doesn't compare with the red cane rum. Thanks, anyway. No, it's not. I'm telling you, it's not Christopher Walken. Like, I could maybe pull off Christopher Walken for like two seconds. But then I just failed miserably. So I just, I developed this new kind of voice, which is like a weak, tired kind of limp man, like just like a, a very, very tired, weak person whose voice breaks every two seconds and just showing how weak he is. Which is ironic because I give it to the the only characters who are probably the strongest in the entire game, which is the Elujanka. So it's funny. But they look so small and fragile and weak. Like compared to like Mr. Mordot there standing like a giant. You know? Anyway. Like, if I want to talk like Christopher Walken, it's a little bit tricky, but I can probably do something, you know, just to get by a little. Uh, like a little, you know, that, that's it. It's a little bit better. But that's me actually trying. And that takes a lot of work and concentration. So, uh, I'm good, you know. Like, I'm good. It's hard. <laughs> well, I guess I could ask these guys, too. No, I'm not talking to them. I'm looking for this cheese plate. Where is this cheese plate? Can I not find one? Wow, 
What the F? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How random is that? It's in a crate. The cheese platter in a crate. Why? Like, not with the rest of the food on the table, right? It's not anywhere there. It's in a crate. Are you shipping it somewhere? Is it fermenting with the wine in a barrel? The cheese in a crate. Okay, whatever. I'm done trying to figure out how this world works. I wonder, too. I wonder how it got in there. Yeah, that's, that's what my... 10 minute spiel was about. Kayleen takes the cheese platter and places it into her coat pocket. A platter of cheese. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna just tuck that into the coat. Is it a fucking magic coat? I would love that coat. Yeah, right? It's a little confusing. Did you just... Never mind, right? Because we don't ask that, those kinds of questions. Those kinds of questions can lead us into trouble. So we just don't ask them. Right? Let's get this cheese back to Mordot. Mr. Mordot. Show a little bit of fucking respect, okay? Before it gets too warm. Gross. Okay. Gross. <laughs> That's a hell of a pocket, you know. <clears throat> Hello again. I don't suppose you found that elusive cheese. Here you go. One cheese platter. Marvelous. As promised, here's my drink token. Don't spend it all at once, as they say. Oh, I'm gonna spend all four of them at once. Thanks. Enjoy the rest of the party. That's the last of the drink tokens. Let's get them back to the dwarf. This quest is turning out to be a lot longer, hey? It's almost two hours. You got those tokens? We do. Here they are. Kayleen hands the four drink tokens to the dwarf. Finally. Thank you both. Now about that scene we asked for. Sure thing. Sure thing, matey. You want me to do that now? Yeah. As soon as you can. Well, here goes nothing. Ah, oh, why is it so hard for me to get back to that drunk voice? Okay. Everyone! Hey, listen! I want to propose a toast. To Oops! My dress, it's ruined. I'd say it's an improvement. What was that? Uh. Old lady's right. Who let these goblins in here? Order, order. Because remember, he's a cowboy. He's got to say order with a little bit of twang. Order this, you pompous prat. Zenavivia throws her glass. 
Missing the curator by barely an inch. Poor aim. Sarah Dolman, save me. Yeah, that was good, eh? That was, that was nice. I actually didn't expect that. Guards, get this under control. Are all Galorian parties this violent? Not at all. I can hardly bear to watch such depravity. Yet I cannot look away. Could you be a deer and pass me... The Gorgonzola? Oh yeah, just be a deer. Let's get down in the basement whilst the guards are distracted. Sure. Actually, hold on. I want to see this distraction. Oh, I can't. But why? I'm sure it shouldn't have been that hard for them to create, like, a, a chaotic environment. You can still hear loud shouting and glass smashing coming from the floor above. But I can't go there. Do you see that? There's the ruby, but it looks like there's some kind of barrier protecting it. According to the plans, there are three power sources, one on one in each of the other wings. There must be some way we can disable them. We'll have to sneak past the guards. Looks like there are some empty boxes lying around for us to hide into. Yeah, I know this came out to be really long. So sorry. Yeah, no doubt. Please do. I'll try to I'll try and cut it like really short. Like I'll try and speed it along. So we're currently at the one hour and fifty minute mark. I'm sure it'll be easy for you to find your way back here. But yeah. I, I hope you watch later because I'm really curious what happens. But okay, you have a good night. I will try my best. Honestly, I will try. Okay, bye. Bye. We've got our work cut out for us. Let's get started. Jeez, this is going to be a trial. Oh, 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 I got caught. Hmm, okay. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? What? What? Was that a glitch? What just happened? 
Oh my gosh, I'm so clever. Am I though? I don't know. Maybe. Okay, I need to take off my sweater. I'm freaking burning. I will be right back. Oh, three curators here. Okay. Uh oh. I should really have taken time just to learn their movements. Yeah, nobody got time for that though. Okay, that was not bad. And one more. Oh, geez, where am I going? Oh, this one's hard. Yeah, that's about the only thing you can do at that point.
Okay, that wasn't so bad. Look! Oh, no. Looks like that's done. The barrier's down. Cool, so we're just gonna steal this thing now. Like a bunch of crooks. Ugh, it won't budge. It's sealed shut. Keep looking out for guards. I'll take care of it. Kayleen carefully carves out a hole in front of the display case. Right, that's done the trick. Now grab that ruby. I have to do that. I have to grab the ruby and incriminate myself? Fucking no, lady. You do it. You're the one that's the thief and, you know, is going to jail after this. Oh, she cut out a pretty good hole in there. Jeez. Finally, the ruby is ours for the taking. Guards, guards. It's enormous. Does she actually go to jail? Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. It's a fake. It's a fake. I called it. What? You. I suppose I should explain. She's Annette. Hello, Kay. Annie, it was you the whole time? It was so obvious. I don't understand. I felt awful seeing you in that rut. I knew that you needed a big high stakes heist to get your passion for thievery back. So I created this fake ruby and donated it to the museum. I knew it wouldn't uh I knew you wouldn't be able to resist stealing it for me tonight. Annie Happy anniversary, Kay. So all this was for nothing? I wouldn't say that. I would. You three are coming with me. What the? Ah, you must be Kayleen Caden. You've heard of me? I've heard that you're loud, arrogant, and surprisingly incompetent for a criminal of such notoriety. Dead silent. But you have heard of me. You can have your ruby back, Haig. If you'll let us go. We don't need it anymore. Be that as it may. You've trespassed on museum grounds, damaged our property, and gave Mr. Mordot an awful bloating and indigestion by supplying him with an entire cheese platter. What do you have to say for yourselves? That you're a fool. If you think... Oh, jeez, I keep losing that accent. Damn. That you're a fool if you think you can catch the mysterious, the daring, world-renowned thieves, Kayleen and Annette. Caden. That's annoying. I wanted them to go to jail. No. That's annoying. I want them to go to jail. 
Well, we may not have a priceless ruby, but we have something even better. Love? What? No, we're that not... Uh, no. We're not that corny. We have this huge pile of chronotes the museum gave me for donating a fake hunk of rock. With this many, we could buy the archaeology guild's entire stock of tea and then sell it back to them for gold when they get desperate for their fix. That is devilish. Dastardly and completely and utterly morally bankrupt. Let's do it. We can give half the proceeds to the Verok Orphanage. That's, this is why I love you. Thank you for your help in all this, John. Yes, I've not experienced a heist that invigorating in years, and it wouldn't have been the same without you. An up-and-coming master thief like you, like yourself, needs the clothes to match. So here's something I had Thessalia whip up while we were gone. I paid her fairly this time, promise. Is this all? I was expecting, I don't know, gold or something. Oh, I gotta take a phone call. I'll be right back. We didn't actually steal a priceless ruby in the end. But who doesn't love fabulous, uh, a fabulous coat and hat? You have our gratitude as well. Hopefully one day we can make it up to you. What did I get out of this? Scarlet Thief Masks Costume Override, okay. Scarlet Thief's Outfit cost Cosmetic Override. Heart Stealer title. Oh, 2500 thieving XP. Lovely. By talking to Kayleen post quest. Okay, I'll talk to her. Just let me know if there's anything you need stolen, okay? We owe you one. Actually, on that note, this lamp came into my possession recently and no one seems interested in buying it. Perhaps you'd be interested in taking it off our hands. She gives you an old lamp. I did an achievement. I have a question. What exactly was the point of this quest? Like, what a dumb quest. Right? Or is it just me? Like, this was a dumb quest. And pointless. Ugh. Anyway. I'm gonna save that in the bank. I like I like uh, collecting quest memorabilia. Okay, I'm very tired and I need to wake up early in the morning. So I'm going to go now. Thank you all for joining me. I had I had one very dedicated viewer uh, and one new follower. So that's exciting. Thank you to everyone who joined me today. And um, so that, that kind of finishes off all my RuneScape quests. So what I'm planning to do now is um, um, I want to get back into Siege a little bit. So I think the next time I stream I'm going to be streaming a little bit of Siege. First person shooting and uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be putting some accents on it. So I'm going to be playing with a bunch of real life people but I'm going to be I'm going to be with with accents. 
Like one day I'm going to have like a, a cowboy accent. The next day I'm going to have like a British accent. Like I'm going to play around with people and see if I can like fool anybody. Right? And, um, oh, that's awfully bright. Um, I'm going to, like, I'm also going to have like, um, like I'm going to try and get your, you guys to tell me what accent you want out of me. And then that's the accent I'll do for, for that match. The entire match, anytime I need to talk to someone, like in our, in our chat, I'll just use that accent. So I'm kind of excited to do that. I've never done that before, so that should be fun. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's going to be the next stream. Uh, and I will try my best to stream more often because I know like uh, sometimes I, I get a little bit busy and then I, I can't stream for a while, but uh, hopefully I'll try and be more consistent. Uh, okay. Thank you all for joining me. Have a good night. Bye.